today we're going to install new disc brakes on a 2006 Honda Civic Si. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to clean out these brake brackets and we're going to clean them up with brake cleaner and some Q-tips. Alright, so I left the brake hardware kit on this one. Uh, this is uh, the driver's side, just so I can know which one's which. This is the passenger. Um, so, the way we're going to do this is we're going to grab some brake cleaner. Stand these up in both hands. Yeah, that way I could clean them. And I'm gonna clean them out with some Q tips. So I'll spray them, clean them out, and clean these out as well. All right, so I went ahead and cleaned it all up. Used four Q tips. All I did was spray in here and just Q tip it up, just like you would Q tip your ear. <laughs> All right, so what you want to make uh, make sure is that these slide back and forth just like that. That's what you want. Same thing with this one. Perfect. All right. Now I just got to do the driver's side. There it is. Now I just got to do the driver's side. And we should be ready to rock and roll. All right, here we have the new hardware kit. New little boots. New brake pads. Indicates what needs to be lubricated every single change. And now, first things first, Got a slap on the disc brake. Look at this bad boy. This motherfucker is tight. That shit is badass. I've never seen a pattern like that. All right, so let me go ahead and mount this on there and we'll get it secured. All right, disc brake is in. The only thing I gotta do is secure this screw. It appears that the uh, previous owners messed that one up uh, as well as on the other side. Nice. Sweet. So let me go ahead and secure that real quick. All right, before I install the brake bracket, I'm gonna go ahead and set up my new hardware. So this here is just gonna go in here. Squeeze it in, you put it in there. There it is. Now the same thing with the other one. Just pinch it, push it in. All right, there it is. Perfect. All right, now what we're gonna do is grab our little pins. Oh, there they are. There's our pins. I'm gonna grab some lube real quick. All right, and I'm gonna be using synthetic brake and caliper grease. Check it out, drilled and slotted. <laughs> kind of looks like mine, except that mine has a three pattern slot. Or drilled, actually. And this one only has two. Anywho, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply grease on both of the pins on all of the contacts right here and on the new hardware as well we're gonna put it on the bottom and on the top that way everything's nice and lubed and i am trying to hold my phone with my knee so i could use both hands and show you guys what's up Oh, that's good enough. Now we're gonna insert this one. Right there. And we're gonna do the same thing with this one. And insert this one up here. might need both hands 
Alright, and what you want to do is you want to compress the pins in there, and there they are. Look at how bouncy they are. <laughs> this one's not as bouncy. This one's not that happy. <laughs> but essentially, that's what you want. You want that. Alright, in the brake hardware kit, I'm just going to rub it with the excessive grease that I have on my fingers. Everything is lubed. So now we're gonna place it on here. We're gonna also lube these up. Just, just touch them with your greasy ass hands on both sides. All right, and this goes just like so. There it is. So now we're gonna do the same thing with the top one. All right, now that we have our brake caliber or our brake bracket all set up with all brand new hardware, we're gonna go ahead and mount it up. This should be like so, this way, uh, right in through here. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount that sucker up and bolt it down. All right, I went ahead and secured the bolts the upper and bottom bolts for the brake bracket nice nice all right so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our brake reservoir all right because we're gonna compress the piston and for this there's a special tool you might need to compress it. Uh, I usually use a C-clamp, but I just did the brakes on my 2010 Honda Odyssey, and I was able to compress this by hand. So I'm gonna try to compress it by hand. If not, I'll be back with the C-clamp. Okay, I'm back with the C-clamp. <laughs> the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna place in the old brake shoe just like so and we're gonna use the seat clamp to compress that just like so so let me go ahead and compress it and be right back all right caliper the piston is compressed all the way back in now it's time to install the new bricks this will go in the interior let's use this one rotations is this way yep this one down just go ahead and insert it in there and insert it up here all right grab the bottom one and same thing insert it down there and insert it up there there it is all right now we're gonna install the brake caliper so much easier if you do this with two hands so much easier if you do that with two hands we're gonna compress these in right here push that in and the bottom one down here perfect all right now you secure the brake caliper with the last two bolts and they go right in here right down here all right we'll go ahead and secure that all right and I forgot to mention uh, the brake bracket is 17 millimeters and the caliper brake caliper screws are 12 millimeter forgot to mention that so I'm gonna go ahead and secure these real quick all right, once we have everything secured, you're done. So now we're gonna just spray this off. Clean up that brake caliper real quick. Clean up my Honda symbol. And we're set. Sweet. And that's how you install new calipers on the 2006 Honda Civic Si. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. One thing I forgot to mention, once you lower your vehicle and start it up, what you wanna do is press on the brakes. You can 
feel like getting hard already. All right, and there it is. And that's all you do. Sweet, and that's how you install new rotors on a 2006 Honda Civic Si. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.